Peace to all of you, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. This Sunday, we celebrate the baptism of our Lord. And this marks the closing of the Christmas season. The event of the baptism of our Lord is part of the epiphany or the mystery of his manifestation, who Jesus is. As we shall now hear from this gospel according to Mark. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Our first point in deepening this uh, gospel is to remember that in Mark, there is no nativity story like in Luke or in Matthew. Jesus is presented, is manifested to his people at the time of his baptism. So, as John the Baptist says, there is one who is mightier than he. And if John the Baptist baptizes with water, this one who is coming, who is mightier, will baptize with the Holy Spirit. And true enough, after coming out of the water, after his baptism of John in the river Jordan, Jesus saw the heavens open up and heard the voice of the Father saying, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well placed. And there begins his life of discerning and fulfilling the will of the Father, making the Father's word his daily nourishment. So a further deepening of the mystery of our baptism. Most of us were baptized as infants. So actually, we don't know exactly what happened then. We don't understand the entire meaning of our baptism then. Here in Hong Kong, I have been graced to witness the beauty of adult baptism of persons, of couples, and sometimes of entire families. And their baptism is actually a welcoming, not only of the sacrament of baptism per se, but of the sacraments of initiation. That is, baptism, confirmation, and communion. A little bit like what happened here in the Gospel of Mark. Uh, Jesus receiving Jesus being baptized in water but receiving the Holy Spirit and communing communing that is being in union with his father being declared as God's beloved son so it is a spiritual journey actually of purification illumination and communion and with the sacraments of initiation, we become incorporated to the body of Christ, which is the church, the church family. That's why we say, welcome to the family once we baptize the babies. But it would be more beautiful if we will be able really to understand our own baptism as being uh, our participation in the life in the ministry of Christ and his church the mystery of Jesus baptism is a manifestation of the beautiful loving union or connection the communion of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit which is now shared to all of the baptized the church the body of Christ. I would like to end this brief sharing with 
some excerpts from a song, uh, How Beautiful by Twyla Paris. And with this, I hope we will be inspired to take up our task, our mission, actually our gift of participating in this mystery of the faith of our communion with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and with all our brothers and sisters in this beautiful body of Christ.